Oh, shit. Here we go again. Hello and welcome out to this episode of Outbreak Gamers. I'm your host, Web Dave, David Anthony, that guy wearing a Simpson shirt, whatever it takes, whatever works, that, that works for me. <laughs> a special guest with me today, Wilmy Hood. Wilmy, welcome, sir. Thank you for having me, man. Glad to be here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Been trying to have you on for a while. Sometimes it's uh, just one of those things where you just have to catch you at the right time. And and trust me, I know schedules man they can they can change and ever changing plus i think you had a you had a birthday coming up or had happened recently. yeah it's, yeah monday i turned 50 oh wow that's awesome dude oh. 50 congratulations well i think yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm not it's a sure good thing. yet it's a good thing uh i'm gonna return in august i'll be 58 so oh okay i feel better now okay let's do it <laughs> you're like oh hey so yeah. there you go <laughs> i'm glad i can make you feel better yeah, that, that really helped. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, glad to do it, man. Glad to do it. Um, yeah, I'm getting close to retirement. I'm looking forward to that day. That'll be nice. If there's anything left to retire on, but you know. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a different podcast. <laughs> that it is. <laughs> we'll get together on that one. We'll make a whole other channel just do that. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Oh man! Well, thanks again for for joining us, man. I really appreciate it. And um, I kind of like to start things off um, with kind of like. What job did you start off with? Like, what was your first job you ever had? Army. Very cool. 17 years old. Wow. I went in directly out of high school. Was that, uh, was that like, I mean, it's, <laughs> I can't imagine because I didn't go through it. So, and, and also thank you for your service. Greatly appreciate that. So, You're welcome. But uh, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of expected in my family. Yeah. That's yeah, my cool. dad, my uncles, my grandfather, everybody. Very cool. Actually, my grandfather had lost a leg in World War II. Oh, wow. 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 So, I mean, uh, fresh out of high school, you're in the Army. I guess that's a, do you kind of grow up fast or is it kind of a, is it a <laughs> shock or what? Oh, 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 yeah, dude. It was, uh, I, I, I was out, out of high school three weeks. Yeah, three weeks, and then off to basic. Man, you grow up quick, I guess, huh? I left at 17, came back at 25. Wow. With the, mentality of a, with the mentality probably that I have now. So. <laughs> and what age is that? 50. <laughs> 50, there you go. <laughs> well, that's good. It, it ages you mentally very quick. Right, right, right. So did uh, I guess um or I guess where you were uh, what's the word I'm looking for not assigned but I guess um, deployed or yeah there's a lot of stuff I just really can't talk about fair enough fair enough <laughs> well, you yeah. know what that is that's, that's so cool that's so that's awesome that's awesome I, but I, I have I had I have been to Iraq a couple of different times oh, very cool Sorry. awesome awesome real cool. real great place too I, I recommend it for the fishing. <laughs> Or the fishing. <laughs> all right. I want to make a note of that. Fishing. Good. All right. Cool. <laughs> oh, goodness. 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 Well, we'll, 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 we'll divert uh, the conversation in different directions. Um, as I always like to, you know, I, I, I love sometimes, uh, what was it? Uh, Boxenberger. I think I was talking to him one time and he's like, you know, I was like, you know, and, and then, you know, what else did you go into? And I said, well, he goes, nah, I can't discuss anything else because well, I was like, Cool, great. That's awesome. Let's go. <laughs> you know, well, so. I mean, when you when you grow up the way I did, doing what I do, there are certain things that you just right. No matter how long it's been, you just really still can't talk about. It. Hey, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. And I, and like I said, I, I I guess I didn't say it yet, but I I, you know, I respect that totally, one hundred percent. So let's talk about how you got into gaming. So what I guess was your first gaming experience? Oh my god! I know. Um, I can't even say Pong because it predated Pong. Wow. Uh, the old uh, Coleco, Ooh, I think yeah. it was, that you hooked to the television mm -hmm. with the old RF adapter. <laughs> and uh, before that, remember, they had a handheld football game. Uh, Coleco football, I think it was. Uh huh. That was actually my first one, little handheld games. 
<laughs> and uh, awesome. it just kind of, it kind of went from there to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So were you able to, I guess, um, you know, you said that was kind of, kind of like your first experience, but I mean, did you get into, I guess, over the course of your life, have you played like, um, did you like play arcades, computers, oh, dude. gaming consoles? What, 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 what kind of direction <laughs> did it take you? My family owned a restaurant and a nightclub. Very so cool. We, we had arcade games. Mm, mm, nice. And the nightclub especially had a big arcade lounge off to the side. Mm-hmm. I would be sitting in there on a stool. Didn't cost me a dime, man. I had the key. Open up the box and just keep pushing the button. I love um, it. Space Invaders, Frogger, you name it. I played it. Centipede. All of it. Galaga was my favorite. Still is. Very but, cool. But uh, I spent hours in there, man. Yeah. Countless hours. Yeah. Uh, it's something, something about an arcade, arcade machine. It's just, there's really nothing like it. I mean, I know it's nice sitting at home playing your game console, but when you just you old, get in the, the atmosphere. Old, uh, Spy Hunter game. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, dude. Spent many hours. Cool. Cool. So I guess, um, well, well let's, let's fast forward a little bit uh, to more uh, more present day, as it were. So with your, um, you know, with kind of, kind of the gaming that you, you got into, I guess, um, so what did you get into? I mean, I guess what brought you to like, uh, like, uh, the Xbox, the PlayStation, cause you, cause your, your podcast is gaming beyond the box. So what, I guess, oh, yeah. what does that entail? Is that like, I'll let you games, games anywhere. Right. I play a lot on my steam deck, mm. a lot of PC xbox ps5 play every time nice we're just about games we don't mm-hmm. want to be con- console exclusive right because to me it's the games yeah i know there's this big giant fanboy war that goes on on social media yep it's the dumbest thing ever i just don't understand it <laughs> right but uh because i own everything anyway mm-hmm. so i don't really care which one sells more than the other unless right. Matter of fact, me and Boom talk about this a lot because mm-hmm. I I know a lot of people don't know this. Me and Boom, we talk on the phone, we text each other quite a bit. Very cool. You know, um, I just don't get it. <laughs> I mean, unless I'm making money from it, I don't care how much it sells. Yeah, it's never going to matter to me. But uh, that was the whole premise. And gaming beyond the box, it's pretty much. Oh my God, we uh we started four years ago. And Jesus Christ, we brought a lot of people into the community. A lot of the people you see now were actually on our show first. That's awesome. I can give you a long list of them. That's um, cool. We did a lot of different things that most podcasts weren't doing. Yeah. Uh, we had one of my co-hosts get slapped by his wife on the webcam one night during <laughs> the show. <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong. It was staged. Yeah. It was totally staged, but she slapped him so hard. She spun him around in his chair. That's hilarious. Uh, you know, we just, I mean, we did all kinds of crazy stunts and skits and, uh-huh. you know, up till uh, I went into the hospital last year, we were pulling close to a thousand to 1300 viewers every single show. Wow. And the channel kept growing. Yeah. I think we're up to 25,000 subs now, but. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's you great. Know, it, it hits a point to where, I don't know, you, uh you realize there's more to it than that. Yeah. I, I, I've been on a lot of shows. I, I talked to a lot of, you know, hosts mm-hmm. over time. You just kind of lose. I don't know. It's like, you have to do certain things to keep your audience. Mm-hmm. And do you curse on your show? It doesn't matter. You curse going all you want to. Okay. It doesn't matter. See, I'm one of those people. I don't give a fuck what people think. Yeah. I just, I just don't, it doesn't matter to me. Um, so I'm not going to play a certain game, you know, to get somebody to listen to my show. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to buy certain things to get them to watch our show. That's just not how we are. Uh, plus I've learned a lot in the past year. Some people that you think are your friends really aren't. Mm. Uh, some, some truly are. Some aren't. Uh, some will just knife you in the back as soon as they get a chance. Um, uh, and unfortunately for us, it happened right while I was in the hospital last year. So, I mean, you just kind of, I don't know, plus being a grandfather now, mm-hmm. I kind of reprioritize things a little bit, I guess, in the last year. Yeah. 
you know, we, we were doing multiple shows each week and we just put a stop to it because at the end of the day, I'm a gamer, right? I enjoy playing games. I enjoy just sitting back with either my PS five controller or my Xbox controller or my keyboard. Mm-hmm. I just want to play a game. Yeah. I don't feel the need to jump on the social media and go, Hey Dave, yeah. you really need to play this dude. Yeah. I don't feel the need to do that. You know what I mean? I just mm-hmm. don't get that anymore. And a lot of it, I don't know, man, right now there's no news anyway, unless you want to keep talking about, you know, <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to mention it because I'm so sick of seeing headlines about it. It's the same old, same old. Yeah. yeah. You know what you mean? Yep. So, I mean, a lot of people are clickbaiting to get views and this and that. And I mean, a lot of YouTubers are out after each other. And it's just like, why? Right. Go play games. Because yeah. I know some of you don't play a game because a lot of you are on my friends list. Yeah. Some of you have not been on a game console in six months. <laughs> I know you're not playing anything. That's funny. And they sit online and they go, oh, yeah, man, I played this. I got all these trophies. No, you didn't. I'm looking at you right now on my PS5 dashboard. <laughs> you didn't even play it. You don't even own it by the looks of it. But no. I don't know, man. It just, I learned a lot. Yeah. Uh, sadly, a whole lot. Right. Uh, but that's, you know, that's kind of what we do now. It's just, I, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're minusing a couple of people from the original show, mm-hmm. but I brought in two other people that I've, you know, had as guests several times. We're a large show. We've got seven, seven hosts and we just joke around, have a good time and just talk about games. It doesn't matter the platform. Yeah. And we do go off the rails at times because that's kind of what we do. Yeah. And matter of fact, there's a lot of podcasts I've watched. People will send me links on Twitter. Yeah. Some shows actually have gone back and watched us and tried to imitate some of the stuff we've done. So I think it's I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. And we actually got we actually had YouTube send us notices. People were actually stealing some of our content, uh. trying to pass it off as their own. Oh wow. Uh huh. Like re-uploading the, a video and stuff like that. Yes, sir. They didn't realize that YouTube actually tracks that. Hell yeah, it does. And we actually had people stealing reviews, clips, shorts. You name it, man. People were trying to steal it and re-upload it as theirs. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, people will amaze you after a while. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, well, not not. Uh, I definitely want to keep on the theme where we're at now, but I want to. I want to. I want to backtrack a little bit to. I guess I know we know you have a show. We're gonna we're gonna get a little more into it and, and what you know what you're doing now and the people that are with you. The 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 community you have now is an excellent community, and like you said, it's nice how you have you know kind of they bring their own elements to the table and the mix together puts on a really good show i feel and but how did you get started i mean what was your first like what made you or made you want to get on youtube and even you know were you just watching other people were you just the iron lord's podcast okay cool uh i used to admin a very large xbox group on facebook Mm -hmm. it had like a hundred thousand members. Wow. And somebody was posting links of the Iron Lords podcast into the group. Mm-hmm. So out of curiosity, one day I just had to click on the link and went to it, watched a few minutes of it, saw King and Cognito and all the guys, and I started watching them. And a year later, I was on the show. <laughs> nice. I was on the Iron Lords. Uh, but you know, they were a large inspiration. Uh and believe it or not, dealer gaming was a large inspiration. And I've been on RDX. I can't even count the times now. Nice. But as bad as I hate to admit it, ah, the very first podcast I was on was Salty's podcast. This was back before he turned whatever he is now. <laughs> uh, Rogue. <laughs> yeah, whatever he is. This was years <laughs> ago. Right. Uh, matter of fact, one of my other panel members, Centurion, was actually on the show too. Oh. This is back when the dude actually was level headed and wasn't trying to clickbait everything. Right. But uh I didn't stay on the show very long because I saw where he was going. And I'm like, you know, I'm I'm not down with that. So we started our own I started the channel. 
And cool. the funny part was we started off, there were six of us. And the first podcast we did, we had five people viewing and we were the five. One of us <laughs> is just too lazy to click in to watch. <laughs> so That's there were hilarious. six of us, only five watching. Oh man, uh, that's that's pretty funny. But does you got to start somewhere, right? Oh yeah, and see, I knew YouTube a little bit mm-hmm. because for the business I own, I had been using YouTube to advertise my business, so I knew how YouTube worked, and it helped me actually grow my company. Nice. So, but to do it from a gaming perspective, oh my god, it was a learning curve, especially doing a podcast. I went through every setup you can imagine. I went through Discord and. All of them until I finally landed on what you're using, StreamYards. It's simple. Damn right, dude. It's, it's it's the easiest thing there is on the planet. There you go. You don't have you don't have to worry about if it's gonna work or not, it just works. Right. And yeah, I mean, it was it was one hell of a learning curve. And I've done a lot of stupid shit when we started. We all did. But you know, I mean, I've even had people from the uh, chat. We did a show. We had the the, the chat coming in, uh-huh. trying to do their best Chewbacca voice for game codes. <laughs> um, one year at Christmas, we had them coming in singing, you know, jingle bells for game codes. We just That's pulled awesome. random people out of the chat. Uh, we would give away game consoles and codes for games. So, I mean it. It was fun. We we got into it and we really we had a blast doing it. And we just kept growing and kept growing. And I made a lot of friends in the community. Like like I said, boom was one of them. Yeah. Uh, Cognito King, all those guys dealer. And it was just, it was a fun time. But now, like I said, you know, my priorities have kind of changed a little bit. Right. Well, you know, it's, it's nothing wrong with that, with, uh, with growing with the times and and what, you know, what works for you. And, you know, you still have to have a balance of life, I would think. Right. I used to have have time to play games too. Yeah. And when you're doing seven and eight podcasts a week on top of running a business, you don't play many games. Right. That backlog just keeps growing. (laughs) Yep. Keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. And we won't even talk about my Steam library. Oh, really? (laughs) Different animal altogether. There's like 1,500 in there. Ooh, man. That's awesome. But you said you have a Steam Deck. Are you you loving that like I am? Oh, yeah, dude. I pre ordered that thing day one. Same. Yeah. That's all. Awesome. I love this thing. There's not much it doesn't do, <laughs> actually. Yeah, ex- I, I'm right there with you, man. I, it's it's so pretty impressive. Fun. It really, truly is. I was shocked. Hell, but, I used it in the bedroom a lot as a as a backup, like a like you know to play games on as a computer, you know, and do stuff oh, yeah. on it as well. I've oh, even yeah, done man, an episode of Streamyards from it. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, hook up a camera and boop, there you go. Yeah, there's not much you can't do. It's exactly. one. It's it's a very impressive little piece of hardware. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it, especially for the price. Yeah, yeah. I guess my agree gaming with that. my gaming laptop for that. Mm-hmm. You can't. You can't you do won't. it. No, Mm-mm. not at all. Not with the power and the portability. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I love the little dock too, man. Put it on the dock, and you can, you know, just turn any, basically any nice. I got a seventy-five inch TV in the living room. It looks really good with streamers. <laughs> it's over with the excuse me with the Steam Deck sitting on it. Yep, and yeah. you can play all the. See, I'm into horror games. Nice. So I can play those right there in the living room. But I've got a bigger television in the living room. I've got an 83, I think it is. Very cool. So we can play them on there. You know, my wife loves them too. Mm-hmm. We can play them on that TV and just have a blast. Because there's That's a lot cool. of those that hit Steam that never hit console. Right. Tons. Yeah. So what's uh? I guess what's what's some of the horror games that you that you do play? <coughs> Roughly, you know, a couple. <coughs> oh God, uh, Mortuary Assistant. I'm trying to finish that one. My daughter's playing that. She loves it. Oh yeah, I haven't tried it out yet. I'm beta testing one. I can't really tell you the name of it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Dude, that's cool. Good God, the list is so huge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All the Resident Evil games. I went back and recently started playing all the Fear games again because Good I'm choice. a huge fan of Fear. Mm-hmm. I love Fear. There's one. It's called the uh, the Orphanage. 
Hmm. I found this thing on Steam. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like 25 bucks. It is probably a legitly scary game. Yeah. You know, most games really aren't scary. They're just full of dumb puzzles. Right. And and something that chases you every once in a while. This one is legitly creepy. And I've had a blast playing it. And I've got about 20 some hours into it and hadn't even got close to the end yet. Wow. So yeah, I mean, there's there's so many on there, dude. It's just not even funny. Yeah. And sometimes I get gamer ADD, I'll jump back and forth. And like right now, I'm really trying to finish God of War Ragnarok. And I'm not going to lie to you. I know everybody loves that game. <laughs> I'm really finishing it out of spite. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, lo I loved all the games up to this one. Mm -hmm. The only reason I'm not enjoying this one, this game is 65% cutscene, 25% puzzles, and the rest is combat. Ooh, not good and balance. It just, it's just like, really? I can't skip the cutscenes. I mean, don't get me wrong. The game looks amazing. Yeah. The story is, is great. I'm just tired of hearing it. Mm -hmm. I want to get through the game. If I want a cinematic experience, I'll go watch The Last of Us on HBO Max. <laughs> I watch it every Sunday night already. <clears throat> yep. That's Save funny. the TV shows for television. <laughs> Give me a fucking video game. Yeah. I'm so tired of the cinematics in God of War. Yeah. And, and it, I mean, it really, and the puzzles in this game, it's like you can't just cross a bridge. You have to throw a spear, hit a rock, and then throw an axe and freeze a, 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 clog, a cog somewhere, and then ricochet it off a wall and make it bounce and hit a little medallion. And it's <laughs> like, really? This is just, you just can't walk across a fucking bridge. <laughs> I mean, it's just like they, they pad this stuff in there just to make the game longer. Right. If you take the cinematics out of this game and all these goofy axe puzzles, <laughs> the game probably would be around nine hours long. Wow. If yeah. that. <laughs> and like you know I what? said, that I'm not, like a nice little chunk. I'd just be done with and it. And I'm not trying to be mean because it is a great looking game. Mm -hmm. But it's a simple fact. All this really wasn't needed. Right. You know, and at least let me skip the cutscene. But it's just like, Jesus Christ, make a movie and be done. Make a game, make a game. Yeah. But, you know, after a while, it just gets kind of old. And I told one of my friends the other day, Cloud, I'm like, dude, I am playing it out of spite because I've, I've just got to finish it to get the trophy. Yeah. And then I'll never touch it again. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yes, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I, I, I a lot of games. My, my son gets so mad at me. If I'm playing like a PG role playing game or something like that. And I'm like, he's kicking back and he's like enjoying the story and stuff. And here I am, just skip, skip, skip. He's That's like, what I do. Man, you're missing the story. I was like, I don't give a shit. I don't exactly. Play the game. I'm getting old. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Time's I've got to finish this game. Yeah, I got to finish this game. I got other ones to go play. <laughs> you know, I really don't care about, you know, Atreus's background story. Yeah. If the little fucker's going to get killed, let's go get him killed so we can finish it. <laughs> let's, go, let's go kill Odin and get revenge and call it a day. Oh, it's so it's just like, damn, just let's go. Yeah. That's my biggest complaint. Yeah, I hate a game that doesn't have a skip button. That drives me crazy. Oh, and dude, that, that started getting to me in the first hour. Yeah. Because it's like, damn, another cutscene. Oh. And then like 20 minutes later, another cutscene. Oh, let's kill five creatures. Another cutscene. And it's just like, damn, they forgot about the combat in this one. Yeah. Well, even like a game like Harry Potter, the, the, or the not Harry Potter, sorry. Hogwarts Legacy, the new one that it's uh, that you know has the dialogue that comes up there, and then you can it still says the dialogue, but I mean you can you can just like skip you know skip what they're saying and make them to the next thing, and not skip the whole scene, but you can at least skip fast forward speed it the, up. Yeah, so yeah, that would be yeah. great. Yeah, and I would just that to me is that's I'm sitting there pounding the button until it's done. Cool, I get back to action. You yeah, know, I, what was I, I was, supposed to do? <laughs> I was playing yesterday, and there was one cutscene. like twenty six minutes long. I'm like, "There's twenty six minutes. I can't get oh back." Oh my god, that drives like, me you know, crazy. Really? And it really has me because I was calling it "God of Snore." Because I mean, it's just like, really, dude. The last one wasn't this bad. 
Yeah. I mean, if you want to make movies, I say this about Kojima all the time. If you yeah. want to make a movie, make a movie. If you want to make a video game, make a video game. Yeah. I think Kojima should make movies. He wants to. I, I played Death Stranding. Let the dude make a movie. He should quit playing. He should quit making games altogether. Yeah. Yeah. And I know he's making some for Xbox. I personally don't care because it's going to be just as dumb as Death Stranding. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I guess if you can make FedEx interesting, so <laughs> be it. UPS Flight Simulator. I love it. Do it. Yeah, yep. exactly. Because we know it's going to be something similar. Yeah, yeah, um, I I agree with you on that. And yeah, and you know I haven't I haven't had the desire to play the new the, the new one the new God of War. Just haven't just haven't had the desire. I mean, I'm sure eventually I probably will get around to it, but right now it's like there's so many other great things to play. I don't need it. <clears throat> I know I was trying to finish I it. Xbox. I was trying to finish it. I was just like, Ugh. yeah. <clears throat> but now I'm so far into it, I've got to finish it. Yeah, I mean it makes sense because you know you're at the point where uh, you've put all this time into it. It's got to it's got to be worth it in the end. If you don't if you yeah. don't finish it, it'd be like it feels like it's wasted time, or at least yeah, you exactly. can at least get the ending. Yeah, yeah. At least yeah. when I die and go to hell, I can be like you. I did finish God of War. <laughs> God's gonna bring you up for that one, right? Exactly. <laughs> you finished it? Okay, we'll take you on it. That's fine. yeah. Hop uh, on the escalator. Uh, that's good. But that's yeah, good. dude, it's just it's just, it's been it's been a job to finish it. Do you Ooh. do you like um do you like I mean I got like Friday the thirteenth? Oh know? yeah. I'm a I huge horror that. fanatic. Oh my god. Actually, if I turn on my webcam, you'd probably shit. I'm oh, surrounded. Yeah. I'm surrounded in my office here, my home office. Uh-huh. I have every creature imaginable hanging on the walls. Very cool. <clears throat> Very Above cool. me, I have Freddy, I've got Chucky, I've got Jason, I've got Billy from Saw, I've got Sam. Oh god, I got Pennywise. Nice. Yeah, behind me, I've got Reagan from The Exorcist. I've got them all. Love it, man. That sounds awesome. And then I've got the, the Funko Pops or whatever you call them. They're on mm-hmm. the other side of the wall. I've got posters everywhere. They're all mixed in with all my gaming stuff. It's very cool. My so daughter is just, a manager in a movie theater. That's how come I got all this stuff. <laughs> I got tons of it. Nice. That's cool, but man. I don't That's have cool. a family member who manages the theater, though. There you go. There you go. So, so I guess you, you, that, the love for horror is not just in gaming, but in, in movies and stuff too. That's, oh yeah, that's, that's awesome. Oh yeah, man, I'm a huge fanatic. I that's think cool. I own four thousand some odd horror movies. That's cool. That's cool. Not when, all of them are good. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, one of these days we'll have, we'll have to we'll have to do some talking on 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 some movies. Uh, not today because this is more gaming centric. But I got a friend that actually works in the movie industry is a special effects makeup artist and he's worked on a lot of horror movies and, and nice. uh, well, a lot of them get filmed one. here. Oh, very cool. I'm in Wilmington, North Carolina. So we have a huge studio here. Yeah. And this is where this, everybody, this is where Brandon Lee's dad got. Well, it's actually where Brandon Lee got killed. Right. Yeah. Wow. He got killed here at our, our uh, studio. Wow. When they were filming the crew. Okay. Love that movie. Love it. Oh, it was great. <laughs> Yeah, but I think everybody here <laughs> watched it because it felt guilty. Right, right. But uh, I saw it in theaters like two or three times. Man, I was just loved it. Definitely cut too short. Oh yeah, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's cool, man. That is very cool. So, uh, what other kind of uh, gaming are you into? I mean, is um, like uh, gaming that's like. Um, Oh, like you, you talk about you know, like with your friends and stuff. Do you do you play any like uh, online multiplayers or together? Like, yeah. Cod, oh, well, stuff I mean, like that, Halo, oh, yeah. that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, I play them both. Uh, Call of Duty, actually, I was I was max leveled in a week. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I play with my son-in-law. Actually, it's kind of funny because he's like, you know, less than half my age. Right. I walk his ass, <laughs> <laughs> nice. and he knows how to get near me if I have a sniper. Um, <laughs> I just hop in there and play, man. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times me and the guys on the show play together, just me and a bunch of random people or people that listen to the podcast or mm-hmm. whoever. That's super but cool. I do man. like my online shooters. Yeah. Not going to lie. <clears throat> but sometimes I just like to play by myself. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that for sure. That's kind of, I'm kind of enjoying the Hogwarts legacy right now. I'm just taking it at my own pace and just, you know, playing two or three hours here and there when I can and, you know. Going from there. 
Yeah, because sometimes you don't want a headset. Right. You know, sometimes I just want to sit, but listen to the surround sound and be done. Yeah. I don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah. I talk to enough people actually during the week as is. <laughs> you know, between calls and emails and people bitching at me and everything else. It's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Man, that sounds so, familiar. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just get tired of listening to people. Yeah. Yep. You need that little me time. Yep. I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, and and, and I, I guess it's um, good that you're doing just, I guess, the one podcast now instead of the multiple podcasts. That probably was kind of straining on you too, right? A lot of different people's uh, opinions coming at you. You know, that really never bothered me. Well, that's good. I, I'm, I'll be honest. It just never, what I do and what people's thoughts are on, just never, I never really cared. Right. I mean, it just, and I've told people while well, I've been on podcasts. Yeah. You know, I don't care what you think. Well, you don't, I mean, my opinion shouldn't matter to you anyway. Right. You know, I'm, I, I tell everybody, I don't consider myself an influencer. I'm a gamer. Yeah. You don't have to like my opinion, but I'm still entitled to it. Uh, amen. And, and <laughs> the like problem that. is most people want to hear their opinion coming out of your mouth. Yeah. That's yeah. the problem with social media. Very well said. On all topics. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't, I don't care that you have an opinion different from mine that you're right but i'm not gonna get offended or upset mm -hmm. you know like everybody talks about hogwarts me personally i've never been into harry potter yeah you know i've never i, I tried to watch one of the movies me and my wife and my wife goes turn this shit off <laughs> you know i mean it just Funny. yeah not i for never everybody. got into it yeah yeah it's just not my thing yeah so i didn't buy hogwarts because you know it's not my thing but to everybody that's playing it, hey, knock yourself out. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. So what would you but, say is your, uh, I guess, number one game you're into right now? What's the what's game you just, like, have to play mm -hmm. as often as you can? Oh, God. Uh, I got you on that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jesus. It could be more than that. I played so much Call of Duty, it's not even funny. Uh I've almost got everything unlocked on season two. Wow. Uh, what's the, uh, Oh God, I've played it on both, both platforms. I can't think of the name of it. dead rising. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have, I have completed that game 100% on my Xbox and my PlayStation. Wow. I have played that game twice. That's how much I enjoyed it. And I'm getting ready to play it again on PC. Uh, uh -huh. Jesus, there are just so many that I've went back and forth on. Yeah. Uh, I really need to finish. Oh, God. What's the name of it? Uh, High on Life. I need to finish that one. That's a good game. Because yeah. that, that one just made me laugh. Oh, yeah, exactly. The knife is just funny. I can relate to him. <laughs> uh, I think he's like a virtual cousin of mine or something. <laughs> I love um, it. Dude, there's just so many of them. Yeah. It's really, really hard to pick. Yeah. Um, and I had just started, before I jumped on the God of War, oh, damn it, I can't think of it now. That's all right. There, there was another one I'd started on PS5, and I can't even think of the name of it. Yeah. And sometimes I'll just grab this weird off-the-wall game and play it. Um. Uh, I really can't think of the name of it now, but that, mainly right. those three right now, especially yeah. Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because that's always like, you know, if I just got a few minutes, because I've got I've got four, five Xboxes in my house. Yeah. I know wow. it's sad. No. But I, I, I make that kind of money, so it's okay. Um, there you go. Like right now, I'm sitting here. I've got a Series X to my right on the desk. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I can grab a controller at any time while I'm in here working and, you know, because I've got three computers in this room. You know, nice. I can jump on the you know one of these television screens and just start playing while I'm doing something else on the computer. So I do that a lot. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Sometimes people call me. I put them on you know, I put them on speaker. They hear somebody cursing in the background. And what <laughs> That's um, funny. And I've also got a PS5 over here. I've got mm -hmm. four of those in the house. Um, yeah, because I didn't think. Of, I didn't think I needed to put one of those in the spare room. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, it's just like Call of Duty is one of those I can just hop into for a quick few minutes and hop back out. Right. 
where you can't do that with some games. Especially yeah. God of War, because you get in there and you get stuck in a cutscene. I mean, you can't get back out. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh, but, no. Yeah, you're, then you're stuck. Yeah. But that's probably the biggest one right now is just Call of Duty, man, because I can just pick it up, jump in for a few matches, jump back out. That's nice. That's nice. Well, let's uh, let's uh, change this direction just a little bit, and let's talk about. I guess you know, we, you talked about you, you you have your new your show that you you've been doing for a long time now, but um, the I guess the chemistry that you have now with the with the with the people that are on it with you, who all is on the show with you, and what do they seem to bring to the table for you? Well, matter of fact, you just did one with Scrub Nurse. Yeah, I did. Uh, Scrub's on the show. I think the world of Scrub, that's my buddy, man. He's super nice, man. Another Southern boy. He's from Louisiana. Uh, I think the world of Scrub. Play call, love playing Call of Duty with him whenever I get a chance. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I've got HR Bomber, who's actually one of my originals from the original show back when we started. And yeah. Bomber's a little bit of play everything anywhere, just like me. Yeah. Then we got Dreadpool, which you know Dread. Oh, yeah. Dread likes to ramble, but he knows everything. He just speaks in circles. We love him anyway. Uh, <laughs> Amen. And he does. He's he's rather, you know, he, he's he's a Floridian. He's a Florida man. So what do you expect? Yep. Then we got Centurion, which I've known for ages. And Centurion's like the, uh, the little geeky nerd that knows everything. He's like a walking, a walking encyclopedia. I mean, you can spout out something to this boy, and he knows everything, the dates, everything. If not, he'll find it within thirty seconds. Wow. Uh, Really good guy, man. I call him a kid because he's like half my age. Right. But, uh, you know, really good guy. You know, I got Pentiac, who's basically, he's, he's a Sony guy. He really doesn't play much than his PlayStation. Uh, Leo, who was always on the show, I had to give up Leo because of his work schedule. It breaks my heart every day because Leo's like the rest of us. He plays on everything anyway. Mm-hmm. But his work schedule just didn't allow him to be on Sunday nights. So I kind of lost him. Right. But uh, that's it. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good just, group of people. You know, we're actually just we're friends. So I mean, it kind of works out, right? And that, that really makes a difference. You know, I think. Uh, oh know, yeah, it does. You know, not just let's have somebody on that's you know just to fill a spot or fill a void. Yeah, that and, did. Um, and it was funny because when Fork, when Fork left the show last year. Uh, I had people sending me messages. Oh man, I want to replace Fork. I noticed he hadn't been on in a few months and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dude, that ain't how this works. Yeah. You know, and I had a couple of people get mad because I didn't pick them as a replacement. Right. And I'm like, I don't really care what you think. Yeah. And people don't really seem to get that. Yeah. Um, and I'll say it again for everybody in the back. I don't care what you think. But, um, <laughs> nice. You know, I pick people that, I was comfortable with, you know, that's what I did. And right. it's, that's the way it works. You pick people that, you know, it's been on your show that you have a background with that, you know, aren't going to do anything dumb or stupid or, you know, which isn't, isn't really hard nowadays, but I mean, it's real easy to do something dumb, but, uh, um, yeah. and that's who I picked. I picked that's, Pinyak that's cool. and Centurion. Yeah. So that's who I went with as replacements because I lost fork and husk. Yeah. And if you, and if you think about it, if somebody's getting mad at you that you didn't pick them, what would that bring to the dynamic of the show? If you, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. If if you're going to get mad because I didn't pick you, that's probably why I didn't pick you. (laughs) Oh yeah. So, you know, and some of these dudes got to remember, man, after you, you hit a certain age, you learn how to read people eventually. Yeah. You know, better than what you do when you're 20. You know, because yeah. when you're 20, 25, you're just like, hey, dude, let's be bros, man. And you don't really think much about it. Yeah. And, you know, when you get this age, you're sitting back going, you're a dick. I knew that from talking to you for 30 seconds. <laughs> and normally you're uh, right. Yeah. You know they're a dick within 30 seconds of speaking to them. <laughs> I so, mean, like I mean, you it, called me in the green room before we got started. Exactly. Well, there was a few other words. But, <laughs> I mean, it, that's how I knew. Yeah, and this one guy, he was really upset because he's like, "Well, I can't believe you didn't pick me to replace us." And I'm like, "Whoever said you were even a candidate for this?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it was just, it was just weird, man. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, I guess you should one side be like flattered that they want to be on your show, but then, like you said, if it's if it's you know, 
and in the in the end it's your show and and if you just don't feel like they they would work then you know you don't worry about it <clears throat> oh i knew they wouldn't right <clears throat> and especially when i've got two of the longtime panel members going you're really not considering this asshole are you oh <laughs> Oh, that's uh, that's usually good. <laughs> no, that yeah. was never an idea. Yeah, <laughs> like no, no, I thought about I thought about replacing you with them. What <laughs> joke? And joke. and for a while we even had one guy. It's kind of funny. I can't. I think it's guy. What was his name? Talon something. Yeah, he actually was was going around telling everybody he was part of our show. And I'm like, dude, who the hell are you? I don't even know who you are. But that's it was just funny. people are very strange. Yeah. I have learned that in 50 years of being on this planet, people are just weird. And I don't think it's a new thing. Right. <laughs> I think we just see it more now because of social media. Yep. I think people just been fucked since the beginning. And we just <laughs> see it more now because of everything around us. Yep. More so, opportunities to see through the bullshit. Yeah, exactly. And social media just brings it out in people because they think they have, you know, they just think they're anonymous. So, yeah. Yeah. I have a protective shield around me. Well, you're still a dick. <laughs> exactly. So you're a dick with a bad condom. There you go. That's so funny. That's so funny. Oh goodness, goodness. Well, uh, but let's uh, let's talk about uh, when is when does your show air? Let, let let everybody know that. I'll I'll have the description and I'll also have the uh, the link and stuff in the show notes. But let everybody know when your show airs. Sunday nights at seven p.m. Eastern time. All right. So Eastern Standard Time. Cool. Yep, because we got we got to get it in there before the last of us at nine. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We've only got a couple of episodes left though. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, well, and it's I guess it's already been you know renewed or whatever, and uh, in the you know. I guess, well, they hadn't uh, started that second season yet. Right, but I, I think they at least greenlit it that they're going to continue. Oh yeah, they have. It, so that's good. That's good. I'm news. actually waiting to see the new the new season of Halo. Yeah, yeah, me too. I know a lot of people did not like the series. I didn't mind it, and even my wife liked it. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to the second season. Yeah, I'll watch it. I'm right there with you, Master Chief. That's Cheeks. the only reason I've got Paramount. <laughs> yeah. Because it's pretty useless other than that. <laughs> Unless you like some Star Trek stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not a Star Trek fan. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, man, I didn't mind the show. I, yeah. I mean, but I don't get. I don't take this stuff as serious as some people. Right. Like, oh my God, did you notice they didn't show the correct gun in that person's hand? Right. That's yeah. blasphemy. <laughs> I don't care. It was entertaining. That's all that mattered. Yeah. Why do you take his helmet off? Why do you have sex? Why not? <laughs> well, I mean, the dude is, you know, partially human, maybe. Yep. <laughs> do you lose your penis when you become partly robotic? <laughs> I don't know. That's the questions we must ask. Oh, shit. I mean, nobody said. explains that to you, you know? Yeah, yeah. I never heard it mentioned in the games. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, when you never see his ass cheeks in the game, I don't, you know, my wife probably would have played it if that happened. <laughs> Just my saying. wife, my wife's a gamer. She she plays. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah. My wife plays handheld games because 3D games make her nauseous, so she just yeah, 2D. Wife, that was it. My wife plays Call of Duty. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> I'd love if my oh, wife yeah. did, but you know, not going to falter for that. She's got she's got an Xbox and a PS5 in our bedroom. Very cool. Find it on the wall under our television. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome, She'll, man. She she plays in there and I play in the living room. Or in nice. here. Nice. Well, I guess the <laughs> family that plays together stays together, right? <laughs> well, man, I mean, all of our kids are grown. Right. They're all grown up and moved out and they do their own thing. Yeah, yeah. My youngest is 22 and uh she still lives with us for now, but uh, but yeah, it's um He's a big, big gamer, but you know, but still, my son, a, my son moved to Florida. He took, he got, he went to a full sale university to get his uh, master's degree in game design. He cool. worked for EA up until recently. That's awesome. And EA cut a bunch of people loose. Right. Even though they claim they don't. Right. <clears throat> but well, know. hopefully he'll land on his feet. Oh, he, he already has. Good. Good Sorry. to hear. Good to hear. All right. Well, Wimmy, as, as we start to wrap things up, I got, I got, I guess, one more question for you that I like to ask everybody. Just kind of. The chicken came first. Ah, you got me. You got me. <laughs> All right. Next question. 
<laughs> what video game that we know about that you can talk about, I guess, just say, um, that's, I guess, been announced, publicly announced, um, that's not out yet, what game are you most looking forward to playing? And it can be more Red, than one. Redfall would be one. Cool. Because it, it reminds me of Borderlands with vampires. Yeah, love Borderlands. <clears throat> I'm I'm curious about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I think that's out at the end of this month. Mm-hmm, me too. Is that made by the same people, Ilphonic, that made Friday the 13th? You know, I'm not sure. I I'll hope to, not. I'll have to look on that. <clears throat> I know the uh, the Clowns from Outer Space is made by Ilphonic. Yeah. So that really just kind of throws me off on that one. Right. Unless it hits Game Pass, I may just pass on that one altogether. Right. Um, <clears throat> geez, Redfall is definitely one. And to be honest, uh, Resident Evil 4. Mm-hmm. Of course, I already, I already know how it's going to end. So, right. spoil, don't start with the spoiler thing. You played it 10 <laughs> years ago, you know how it ends. They didn't change the story. Right. Uh, you know, everybody talks about Starfield. I don't know. I'll Not wait and see. I'll yeah. wait and see. Yeah. Well, um, at least you got Game Pass, you can at least try it. And if you don't like it, you see that's that's the point. That's exactly the best part of Game Pass. Yep. Amen. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. You just delete. Um. And PlayStation really don't have a whole lot coming out this year. Yeah, one one seen. real big title that's yeah. truly theirs. Spider Man Two, maybe. So mm, maybe. Yeah, it took me a while to finish the first one. Yeah, I still um, finished the first one. I'll be honest. <laughs> I I did, but see, I don't get into the comics, so I'm really not into those things. Although it yeah. was a fun game, it was it was entertaining. Yeah, uh, slinging from building to building, just magically slinging cobwebs up in the air, sticking to nothing. It was, yeah. Uh, right now, Redfall is about it, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Resident Evil. Yeah, well, those are good choices. I'll tell you that right now. I'm I know looking there's forward a few, to all those. There's a few other horror games are supposed to be coming out, but I mean, the dates keep getting pushed. Dead right. Island Two is another big one I'm looking forward to in next month. Yeah. So, and actually, I think we got review codes for that one. Ooh. I'm pretty sure we do. I think we got them. Yeah. So we should have some some stuff coming out on that one. That'd be nice. <clears throat> Tune in for that for sure. Well, I don't do the reviews very often. I get Cloud usually does them on our channel. Right. Because I just don't have the time. Right. Because to be honest, my day starts at 8 a.m. And I run the business till about 7, 8 o'clock at night. Yeah. So Sometimes longer than that. Last night at 10 o'clock, I was sitting on a computer doing invoices. Wow. And so, but, you know, Cloud usually does the reviews. There's a ton of them on our channel. But yeah. I know we've got, we've got, We've got reviews for Dead Island 2 and a couple of other games. And one game in particular we can't even mention yet. That Let's there go. isn't well, a release date for. I was yeah, really we, shocked to see the email. Yeah. So, well, we won't bring it up here. We don't want to get you in trouble. But yeah, <laughs> good button. but that's cool. That's very cool. So yeah, I didn't think it was even, I didn't think it was even anywhere near release. So I was shocked to see the email. Nice. Now you got my curiosity up. <laughs> that's a that's a good thing. Wilmy, sir, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And and thank you again for taking the time to, to be on the show. I was um, glad we could finally work it out. Me too. Me too. Because like you, I know you're busy and 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 for you to, to do that really means a lot to me. So thank you again so much. And I know you'd ask me to to stop into your show sometime, and I promise you in the next couple of months uh, we'll make that happen if you're still wanting me on. I would, oh, yeah. I would love to. I would love to love to do that. But we will. We will. We will shoot to, for the future on that one. But I definitely am very interested in that. So, Wilmy, again, thank you so much for being here. And I'm going to have a description in the end of the description. I should. I keep doing that wrong. I'm going to have your uh, the links to your YouTube and your uh, and your Twitter on there, so people can uh, check you out and tune in and find out when all the latest information happens and all the channel stuff. But but definitely want to subscribe to their channel, Gaming beyond the box is a lot of fun it is a good show to, to watch and it's got a nice um diverse crowd of gamers so that you get not just 
bombarded with one type of game or one type of viewpoint, you're going to get a nice sprinkle of everything. And that's what I like best about it. That's all we aim for. Yeah. Let me, thanks again. And and plus you don't have to be knowledgeable because my grandfather told me one time, you may not be able to outsmart everybody, but you can outdumb anybody. (laughs) So (laughs) love it. And if you can't outsmart them, that's a little bullshit. So a lot of times there's nothing to talk about. That's what we do the entire show. (laughs) Because let's be honest, there's not been any gaming news in weeks. Right. I mean. Yeah, concrete stuff that really makes any difference. Yeah, and the fact, you know, like I said, I'm not even going to mention the merger buyout. I'm just so tired of hearing about it. Uh, Until it happens, right? Yeah. Let me, wake me up when it's over. Get Green Green Day to make a song about it. Wake me up when Activision ends or something like that. Yeah, (laughs) I love it. <clears throat> that's great all right Wilmy. thanks again for being here we really appreciate it and thanks to everybody else for joining us here at outbreak gamers game.